The Episcopal Diocese of Maryland is now working to begin offering reparations for slavery and racism in Maryland. The diocese created a fund in 2020 to support groups that will restore African American communities, and now they're selecting where the money will go. WJG's Live, Stetson Miller tells us how they're hoping this will help communities of color heal. Stetson. Hey there, Vic. Yeah, the diocese created this to help out African American communities and to make amends with them. And they're hoping to soon get thousands of dollars to groups in our community to start that process of healing. The Episcopal Diocese of Maryland is trying to build up black communities in the state and repair the breach caused by racism and slavery. Our goal is to help us to become a reconciled people. With one another. They're doing that by creating a $1 million fund for reparations. Reverend Christine McLeod says it was first created in 2020, and now the diocese will pick out its first recipients of the funding. This diocese has taken some bold steps in trying to address the inequalities that have been created throughout the centuries because of slavery and because of the legacy of slavery. Last year, WJZ told you about Memorial Episcopal Church in West Baltimore that committed $500,000 in reparations to black-led justice programs. The diocese's program aims to help out a variety of causes. 30 nonprofit groups and startups that do work to support black communities in northern, central, and western Maryland have applied for the grant funding, and the diocese will choose three to four of them to receive the first batch of it. The grants will range anywhere from $25 to $50,000. So organizations, they can be uh, 501c3 organizations uh, that are in the state um, that are doing work that address issues such as health care, elder care, housing issues, uh, education. McLeod says the Episcopal Church has benefited greatly from the institution of slavery, and many of its members were enslavers. Now her diocese is trying to dismantle the divides that were created, reconcile, and repair black communities. That's what reparations means to repair that which is broken, and that really is the basic call of Christianity. And they're hoping to announce the first recipients of these reparations by June. We're live in North Baltimore, Stetson Miller for WJZ.